is gonna be a good one. I have so much tea on Zariah from this season of Love After Lockup. She's the one that grew up with a family of pastors and they've been like in the church for over 30 plus years, but she decided to rebel and now she's married to this inmate named Troy. Well, I ended up speaking with a source that knew Zariah very well, that spilled a lot of tea, and I was able to find some other stuff out myself. So first of all, I found out that once upon a time, Zariah used to be a dancer. She's currently on OF, but a few years back, she was dancing. I don't think she's doing that anymore, but I also was told from my source that Troy isn't the only one with a criminal history. They said that Zariah has been arrested. I spent hours trying to find her criminal history and finally I was able to find her background and this is what came up. So Zariah Alex is her maiden name and she has her aliases shown here which is her name now Zariah Jones and her last name from her last marriage and then shows her career history that she worked at a cell phone store for a few years from 2014 2015 she worked for like some youth place and this all matches up with what my source told me then it shows her education history she went to college in Buffalo up until 2014 then my source claimed that Zariah and her ex, aka her baby daddy, that was Troy Sally at one point, this is him pictured here, she claimed that Zariah and her baby daddy went and did a whole bunch of electronic store robberies and she was hit with multiple charges one was for grand larceny i think i might have accidentally said money laundering at the beginning of the video i meant grand larceny so she was hit with grand larceny and falsifying business records in the first degree and this is back in 2017 and grand larceny is a crime defined as larceny of property worth more than the given state statutory requirement so in the state of new york where she was located and these crimes were committed it is considered property with a value over a thousand dollars so she it doesn't show what happened as a result of those charges like is she got probation did she have to go to jail but it shows that the charges were filed back in july of 2017 and according to my source they claim they heard from multiple people that she was allegedly strung out on heroin back then and that's why she was doing these things because her baby daddy allegedly got her on heroin because he lied to her and told her it was a different drug than what it really was she ended up doing it got hooked and then she started having to do things to support her habit I was told that she was very resentful towards her baby daddy for getting her strung out on this drug and lying to her about what it was, but she did eventually go to rehab to get help for that habit and she did end up leaving her baby daddy and I guess they had a really toxic DV marriage while they were out in the free world. It was Here's some information from a bankruptcy filing from Soraya back in April of 2020. And also, I think it's Soraya. I think that's how you say it. I think I've been saying it wrong this whole time. At least that's what my source was saying. And here is a recent lawsuit against Soraya. It shows that she was summoned to summoned to court on July 3rd of 2024 and this sounds like it's a credit card company suing Zaria claiming that she entered into a credit card agreement with the original creditor and it shows that the last time she made a payment was on July 13th of 2021 of $40 and it shows that she owes in total eight hundred and fifty six dollars and fifty nine cents normally i would not make a big deal out of something like this 
but it's the fact that this just happened not even a month ago that she received this complaint and this summons to appear in court but not only that the fact that she was just bragging on tv about the fact that she sent troy over fifty thousand dollars while he was in prison meanwhile she has a credit card that she can't even pay for like you could have just sent him forty nine thousand dollars and paid off that credit card you know what i bet happened the credit card company probably saw her on the show bragging about sending her man all this money and they're like okay she's on tv she claims she's sending all this money to her man we know she's probably got the money now so we're gonna go for the money and see her in court i wouldn't be surprised if that's how it played out but now I want to talk about the rest of this tea that I got from my source. I wish I could play the phone call because we talked for like over an hour and it was so freaking much. Like I know so much. But I can only talk about so much because my source wanted to remain anonymous and they don't want me to give away big details. that will give away who they are. So there are a lot of parts that I have to leave out. But pretty much like I told you about her and her baby daddy and I was told that Troy just got out in May and apparently Zariah and Troy did not sign up for the show she was in a prison wife's group and a producer found her and actually reached out to her and I guess she sent all the stuff she needed to and next thing you know like an hour later they're like okay you're hired and I guess Soraya's parents that we see on the show, they're not her biological parents. Her parents don't have any biological children whatsoever. They're all adopted. And I was told that last my source knew, Soraya's son didn't even live with her. He lived with Soraya's parents. They said that Zariah had a room for her son, but he was not living with her full time last they knew. And they have known Zariah for a long time. And they said that Zariah always has a new hustle and idea. But in the past, she's had issues with just staying like focused on one thing. She's all over the place worrying about like 10 different projects at once instead of just like excelling in one. And they told me that she kind of got some backlash at one point because she was allegedly purchasing Yeezys, well not Yeezys, but they look like Yeezys off DHgate and AliExpress during COVID and sh this person claimed that they knew somebody who had exposed her on Facebook and was going off because they claimed that allegedly Zariah said that these were real Yeezys and then they found out that they were not and they got pretty upset. This was during COVID allegedly and then she ended up pivoting and she quit selling shoes and now she's got her whole nonprofit going on and I was told that her saying on the show that she has no idea how big Troy is down there and how he's going to be in the bedroom is allegedly all cap because my source claimed that she used to always brag about the fact that she and Troy hooked up one time during one of their prison visits, which I'm not sure how they made it work. Like, but I mean, Andrea and Lamar were able to bang in the prison closet, so maybe they were able to do something like that. But she was bragging allegedly about how big his D was and how they banged at the visit. And you know, Love After Lockup's been known to do this, have people lie and say, oh, we've never hooked up when in reality they have, just to make the storyline more interesting. My source told me and was pretty adamant that Troy and her baby daddy's relationships were overlapping well her marriage to her husband and her being with Troy they claim that she went to go see her baby daddy one day and literally the next day she was going to visit Troy I know a lot of times I end up giving away too much and a lot of people get upset like oh, okay you should have maybe said that but I'm, I'll just say this I was told that she was helping Troy 
make some good money while he was in prison and helping him hustle. I'm not going into all the details, but I was told all the details on how and how much and direct proof that my source has seen. I'm not going to go into all that, but they believe that Troy is pretty well off right now financially due to all that. And I did ask them, well, you know, you say you know Zariah pretty well. You say you know Troy pretty well. Do you think that Troy's going to stay out of prison? And they're pretty confident that Troy will actually be able to stay out of prison this time. They really think that he's finally had enough and he's ready to change his life around. So I hope that is the case, but that's pretty much all the information that I can share right now with you guys. If my source gives me permission to share more, then I'll make another video. But that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments below. Are you surprised by all this? Give this video a thumbs up. Check out my lashes at accordingtoamber.com. And thank you so much for watching.